The overall goal of this procedure is to determine genes or pathways involved in angiogenesis through the use of a rapid and quantitative in vitro method. This is accomplished by first serum starving primary or immortalized endothelial cells the day prior to the assay. The second step is to incubate endothelial cells with calcine for 30 minutes, followed by washing the cells with PBS. Next, the endothelial cells are trypsinized, filtered to remove clumps, and counted. The final step is to combine endothelial cells with conditioned media containing possible angiogenic factors and dispense them over solidified basement membrane extract. Ultimately, light or fluorescent microscopy is used to visualize tube networks, which can then be quantified using specialized computer programs. The main advantage of this technique over other methods for assaying angiogenesis is that it is easy to set up, relatively inexpensive, produces tubules within hours, and is quantifiable. Demonstrating this technique is Erica Bullwinkle, a graduate student in the biology department at American University. Using the appropriate media, Transfer three B11 cells into a new flask two days before starting the assay. For the best results, the cells should be between the second and sixth passages when used. Next, grow the cells for 24 hours in supplemented DMEM. When the cells are ready, they are serum-starved by replacing the media with reduced serum media.